Okay, we just found this impression, wondering if this might be a track of some sort. It's been wet. It rained a little bit, but uh, my friend told me that he found some tracks in here the other day. And there's actually a teepee right, uh, right above us here that they rebuilt in this area. I'm looking for tracks right now too, but um, there's some stuff on the wood. So this was a rebuild. This area had a uh, it had a large one, and then it had like three small ones last year, and now it's been rebuilt into this creation, which is pretty phenomenal in itself. I'm gonna just look on the back side, I think, for some more footprints here. But this is a really good one, a really nice little one. And he didn't even tell me he was bringing me here. He just said, go left. <laughs> I walked right up on it. I'm like, what? So it was a nice little surprise. Oh, I see. There's dirt back here. He was telling me he could see impressions. I mean, he's tracked animals and hunted since he was a kid. And he helped me identify those tracks last time when I walked right by him thinking that it was just road crew tearing up the road. I don't know, I mean, it could have been both, but I swear it looked like Bigfoot was stomping like crazy, but... It looked like somebody was stomping crazy and sinking 10 inches into the freaking muddy earth. I mean, who's, who can do that? Just looking here. It's not to say they're like here every day, I just don't know, but it seems like they're here year round. I feel bad I left a gift over at this other place and somebody's been burning these little tea candles. And I feel like they're ruining the energy of the Bigfoot. I don't I don't know if Bigfoot's gonna be receptive of a gift over there because there's human activity in there and presumably at night if they're lighting candles. So I'm not too pleased about that, but Enough about my troubles. Well, I didn't see anything totally remarkable there, but that is a totally cool teepee on this little just side shoot um, that Mike was kind enough to come show me. Look at this one, Mike. Want to hold it just on the offshoot that Sasquatch actually held it as well? Hey. I always get a kick out of like holding a stick that I think Sasquatch held or you know what I mean? Something special for me. Anyway. I was going to point out the sticks all lined up and also the stick work over here. Yeah, that does look right there. There's a line. Yeah, you gotta keep looking at it. That's, wow. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I'm just imagining how it happens, but yeah, the difference in the earth right there, yeah. that probably was a step. And they came right through. Because, yeah, that's that's been rained on. That wasn't us. That other one, I think, that area was pretty decent too. Just that spot where it looked like it had placed down wherever it was right here. Like a right foot, big toe, small toes. But obviously somebody's walking around making these things. Don't see any Nike prints out here. Besides the ones I'm leaving right now. Alright, cool Mike. Thanks for helping me find this awesome structure, bro. It used to be huge. Well... You know, they're always they're always changing them, man. That's part of the documentation of this stuff. You know what I mean? That's, Is that right? It's it's amazing to see see stuff change. But to have it this close where we can look every time and not have to drive like an hour, you know what I mean? Yeah. Lucky us. Alright everybody, thanks for joining us. Goodbye.